Welcome back to Athletic Everyday, day number 309. It's been a while since I've done my slightly longer form content videos where I'm actually speaking over the entirety of the training video rather than just uploading an edited short. Uh, and it feels good to be back. Um, the reason why I had a bit of a hiatus from creating these sorts of videos is because I've been building a workout program for basically all of the disciplines that I'm interested in. So that's essentially general athletic training, explosive athletic training. So anything to do with sprinting, athletics, weightlifting, vertical jump um, is all going to be included in the program. So I'll give you guys a quick rundown of what the program's about, who it's for, um, but I am going to also be uploading a more in-depth video explaining the program and to also market the program, get some eyeballs onto uh, all the hard work I've been doing over the last three months. So uh, the program is called Sprint Jump Lift Hybrid Explosive Athleticism. So the main aims of the program are, and it's directed for people who are trying to improve their general athletic abilities. So if you want to sprint faster, you want to jump higher or jump further, and you also want to lift heavier, most notably in the weightlifting movements, snatch and the clean and jerk, then this program is specifically designed for you. It's a 12-week program consisting of a two-week GPP or general physical preparation phase, then followed up by a five-week strength and power focused phase, and then finishing with a five-week speed and elasticity phase. So essentially the purpose of the program was to give myself something that I could have done five years ago when I was looking to increase my athleticism, and hopefully that's something that's going to be of value to you guys too. But uh, stay tuned for the marketing video that's going to be coming out pretty soon. Still am working on that, but the actual program itself is more or less finished. So I just got to make sure that the release of the program and the marketing is also done right to make sure that it gets enough eyeballs on it. In today's session though, I was working on a little bit of jump mechanics. So working on extending out that penultimate step and making sure that my plant and block step, um, this is all technical terminology for uh, the last two, last three steps that you do before you do a vertical jump. If you're doing a full approach, uh, optimizing for those and working on improving those. So all the drills you're watching here are all to optimize for improving my vertical jump. Uh, then I moved into some half field squats. Uh, I haven't really been doing half field squats in the past. Uh, this is kind of like my first training cycle where I actually start to incorporate more of them. But obviously the main benefit of a half field squat is that you can load much, much heavier on the bar. So just for reference, my max back squat is 170, 170 kilos. And you'll see me squatting for a triple later on, 180 kilos. So um, it's pretty insane that you're able to just load this much onto your back. Um, really, really good for doing eccentric overload because on the way down, obviously you can load, you, your, your legs can take more weight than they can on the way up. You know, I don't know if you've ever found this in a squat where you get pinned in the bottom. Um, you can load as much as you want to on the way down or as much more than your max on the way down. And then on the way up, you can just assist yourself with the arms a little bit, with your lats, pulling yourself up a little bit um, in order to make up for the difference that you have between eccentric or lowering strength and uh, lifting or concentric strength. It can be a little bit awkward to set up. You have to have two bars. You also have to have an SSB, which isn't always most available in all gyms, but it's definitely well worth it for the strength gains you'll inevitably get from doing this with a decent amount of volume. And then I finished up with a few sets of weighted dips. Reason why I do dips with decently high frequency is because they're probably one of the best upper body exercises for training your athletic ability because they have a very similar range of motion to the arm swing that you have for sprints and jumps. More force that you can load the shoulders through uh, inflection extension in that range of motion where the arm is behind the body. Uh, in, th in theory, the more force you can put out when you do a powerful arm swing for a sprint or a jump. All right, that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, program videos will be coming out very soon. Uh, if you want to find out more about it, I'll obviously be sharing more on the channel about that. Uh, but now I can really just focus on going back to the old style of content and really starting to optimize for my own athleticism again. And I'm excited to share that journey with you. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next one.